Creamy, yummy macaroni and cheese. Hey y'all, it's April from My Crazy Creative Life. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, my cousin had asked how I made my macaroni and cheese. So here we go. Just boil your macaronis in salt water according to the package directions. This was a small box and I probably used about a half a box for my family. Then you want to drain it once they're done. After I drain mine, I do give them a quick rinse to get off some of that excess starch and drain them again. It really depends on how much macaroni you use to depend on the ingredients you use. Just use your best judgment, but for about a half a box, I'm pretty sure it's what that was, I used about two pats of butter. Uh, so roughly two to three tablespoons full of butter. Then I probably put about a third box of Velveeta in there. We use quite a bit of Velveeta, but you don't have to put in that much. Like I said, just use your best judgment and what you and your family like. Next, I'll put in about a one to two handfuls of sharp cheddar cheese, sometimes even extra sharp. If I've got it, I'll shred my own. If not, then I'll just use what's in the bag. And then I'll put just a little bit of milk in there, enough to kind of make it creamy. You can use milk, any percentage. You can also just use cream. But if you just use cream, you might want to add a little bit of milk with it because the cream does make it awful thick. Then I'll put it back on my burner about medium-low heat. And, but you got to start constantly because if not, that butter, the milk, the cheese, all of that's good stuff that wants to stick to the bottom. So you definitely got to be stirring everything really good quite frequently. And then I also just add salt and pepper to taste. And that's pretty much it. You just keep stirring on low, medium, low heat until that cheese melts. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time for that Velveeta to melt. But then all of a sudden you'll have rich, creamy, cheesy, yummy macaroni and cheese. Okay, in reality, I've made all of this on the same day, but they're gonna be separate videos. So, I'm just gonna end all of these with the same ending. <laughs> and I'm gonna try all of these on the same ending. On, on each video. You know what I'm saying. And then of course, the macaroni and cheese, we know all of it. Mm. Mm. Shoot. I forgot to add salt and pepper to that, but other than that, it's good. So that's all of the video, whether it be the chicken and dumplings, the macaroni and cheese, or the green bean, Italian green bean thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the little subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you know when I upload more videos. And that's all. So there's some more vintage food. I hope you all have a blessed day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Hey, if you like this video, you may want to check out my previous video or my previous series. Talk to you soon.